Now, after competing in the World Food Championships this year, a Port Aransas chef was picked to compete on a show for the Food Network. Chef Gail Huseman took part in the show Supermarket Stakeout, and here's how she represented the Coastal Bend. And my flavors are 100 percent on point. The premise of Supermarket Stakeout is that there are four chefs out in the parking lot and they're each given $500. They have to go through basically three rounds of cooking. In the first round, you just go buy groceries off of somebody and hope to God that, you know, you have something useful in the cart. So Alex Gronicelli says, Asian Fusion. You have 45 minutes to shop, figure out what you're making, make it, plate it, and present it. Yay! I find this lady, she comes out, she's got these really nice, healthy, full bags. And so I give her $100 and I go racing back. Start looking in these bags. Five bags that were filled all the way to the top with nothing but pecan sandies cookies. I had to go back. I mean, I, I can be an amazing chef, I can cook amazing food, and I can cook Asian fusion with just about anything, but not with just cookies. And then this lady comes out and she's got this like big healthy cart. I used like Tuscan kale, and so I did the kale and the shard. I took the spaghetti and cooked that, and used that like Asian noodles. Voila, Italian Asian fusion. The second round, you can look in the bags and see what they have in their groceries, but you can only buy from one shop. The next round is crunchy, something crunchy. Finally, this lady comes out. She doesn't have a whole lot in her bag. I kind of start looking through there and I'm like, I can make something with this, I can make this happen. And she's like, well, this, I'm gonna make my husband his birthday dinner. These are all of his favorite things. And I'm like, honey, I can give you $90 for the $60 you just spent. And, and I'm like, got my best pouty face. I'm like, please, please, I'm gonna die today if you don't do this. <laughs> and, and I decide that I'm gonna do, um, shoestring potatoes, fry those so those are crunchy, make a beer batter and do onion rings and string beans, and there's lamb, lamb chops. Lisa and I made it through the next round. So now it's down to just the two of us. Dun, dun, dun. And the final round, you can only buy five ingredients, so I need something that will melt. This guy has bread, awesome. You know what, I'm gonna do a grilled cheese sandwich. That's melty. Time is ticking, time is ticking, time is ticking. The judges came and they tasted everything, and the winner is? Chef Gail. And I was trying to keep a poker face and everything else and just be like, cool. And I was like, BAM! <laughs> they brought back out all of my pecan sandies and I threw them at the crowd. <laughs> There's not a lot of notoriety for the Coastal Bend, but there ought to be. There are eight plus World Food Championship top ten finishers from the Corpus Christi area. We make an assumption about what's here without really considering the possibilities of what's right in front of us. And that's exactly what I did with the ingredients that were in my basket. I could have made an assumption and said, I can't make anything with this, or I could have considered the possibilities and made it an award-winning dish, which is what I did. Now, Chef Gail did walk away with the grand prize of $10,000, so congratulations to her. Now, if you'd like to try her cooking for yourself, she's actually this head chef at the Black Marlin Grill restaurant out in Port Aransas.